Alright, welcome back. It's Bookworm again. I've made a little bit of a modification. I actually have it now where it's not recording the in-game audio for this game. It's just me talking. Because it I don't know how to get it where the sound will turn down a little bit. With Dead Frontier it was quieter, but on the last two videos it seems like the music kind of really overpowers me talking. So I don't want to have to make you blare your speakers out in order to hear me and then have to hear the music on top of it. So it's really great music, but you know, it's kind of hard to have that going while I'm trying to talk at the same time. So you'll just have to deal with me doing a soundtrack. So maybe I should sing a little, you know, loving you. Okay, I won't do that for you. <laughs> but uh, so anyway, we have our next installment of Been There, Dan That. And like I promised in the last video, we are going to see the zombie at this one because we're about to go to the zombie universe as you can see actually there is a door right here with some blood coming out of it that's rather ominous looking so that is actually the door we're going to be going into first so let's walk over here as you can see there's a lock right here looks like a bunny shape oh it's a fluffy ickle bunny head cute oh said it again sorry so we have to find a bunny head for the lock. Luckily, up here at the inventory, we have this poster. It's a limited edition signed Sam and Max poster from 1993. It's priceless. Well, too bad it's priceless because we're about to damage it. You can see there is a bunny head in that poster. So what we need to do is take the scissors to the priceless poster, of course. And we now have a bunny head. It's kind of grotesque, but we're about to go see some decapitated heads in this next door, so you get what you get. So now we use that here on the lock, and we're open. Ooh, looking good already. So let's go in here. What the? There's a whole field through this door with a sky, and I can see the London skyline. I think this is the way home. Let's go! See? You, was it worth the wait? Are you satisfied? We can see blood and guts and dead bodies. Oh, bummer. Someone knocked down our flat and put a graveyard up while we were gone. And they didn't even bury all the bodies. Look! <laughs> Cowboys. No, wait. Look at the names on those gravestones. Those are our names. We're dead, dude. No! This must be the future. Those dastardly aliens have invented a time machine. But the dates on these gravestones... Great Scott! It's this year! This must be some sort of alternate dimension! Dum dum dum! Good lord. Well, the door back to the spaceship is still open. Perhaps we can find a yin yang around here somewhere and open the door home. Good plan, buddy. I'll start indiscriminately looking at stuff. Don't worry, I'm gonna not, go not gonna look at everything. Like I said, it would take a very long gameplay, so please consider playing this game on your own because it's a lot of fun looking at everything. Well, let's see. You can look at this this head here. This one's kind of cool. As far as severed heads go. Hmm. What? I could have sworn I'd seen that head move. Ooh, he opened his eyes. Yeah, that pile of body parts is alive. It's alive! Zombie! He's a zombie! See, I told you there's a zombie. Who builds a portal to a zombie dimension? I, don't know, I bet a few of you would probably like to go to a zombie dimension. Let's see. Now we have this hand here. And believe it or not, we actually are supposed to pick up this hand. Because, of course. What on earth do you think you're doing? What? What? You just picked up a dead man's hand, didn't you? Yeah, so? A dead man's rotting hand. Yeah, what? It's not still twitching or oozing or anything. Why did you do that? You know, to grip stuff. In case anything needs, you know, gripping. You're an idiot, you know that? Yeah, an idiot who can grip stuff with his magical third hand, though. He's got a point there. Some, some good logic. 
All right, so we got this church in the distance. So we need to go over here, past the ominous looking tombstones and the giant pools of blood. So of course you would go further in. Oh, we got a cutscene. Meanwhile, <gasps> so my friend, is everything going according to plan? Indeed, code for the Hello World program is already ninety-five percent complete. And our two subjects have unwittingly constructed a makeshift receiving device, teleporting them aboard the spaceship. They have just found their way into Dimension 3428. Excellent. Now that they are in no position to interfere, we may commence with Phase 2 of our plan. My turn to drive! Aww. The plot thickens. So we got aliens, we got zombies, we got two kind of idiots bumbling their way through. What more can you want? Okay, so here's our here's our first kind of real puzzle to figure out. So we got these two columns here. And as you can see, they've got one, two, and three on each one. It turns out these are actually uh, verses. So we go and look at each one. It says Job 1530. says Kings 1845 it says Acts 2 2 it says Judges 13 20 it says Isaiah 64 6 oh sorry clicked again it says Psalm 106 18 all right you got all that remember it all right let me keep walking now we see these six candles. Could they possibly correspond to the six verses we just saw? So we have a Bible right here. We go look at the Bible. We get to the eyeball. There we go. So this is the order they're in. And basically what it is, I'll go ahead and tell you ahead of time. You uh, read each of these verses and the verses either have something to do with flame or fire, or they have something to do with wind. So the ones that the Bible, the candle that corresponds to the verse that has to do with fire, you light with your lighter. And then the ones that have to do with wind, then of course there is no fire, so you don't light those. And that's kind of the code to open up this lock. So we're going to look at these verses. But you never, didn't think you were going to be getting a uh, Bible lesson <laughs> in this. But He will not escape the darkness. A flame will wither his shoots, and the breath of God's mouth will carry him away. So we light the first one because it says flame. So Kings, second one. Meanwhile, the, uh, the sky grew black with clouds. The wind rose. A heavy rain came on and Ahab rode off to Jezreel. So there's wind. That means we do not light the second one. So first, not second. Acts 2, 2. Suddenly a sound like a blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. So we do not light the, uh, the third one as the flame blazed up from the altar toward heaven the angel of the lord ascended in the flame so that means we do light the fourth one because it has flame so first and fourth so far Zan. all of us have become like one who is unclean and all our righteous acts are like filthy rags we all shrivel up like a leaf and like the wind our sins sweep us away so we do not light that one Fire blazed among their followers. A flame consumed the wicked. All right, so that means we will light this one, this one, and this one. So let's go get our lighter. Select the lighter. Let's light this one. So we'll light the left candle. Then we'll come over here. Oh, I didn't use it with the wall. Pay attention. Using it with the candle. We'll light the left candle. And we will write, light the right candle. <gasps> A hidden passageway! Woo! Today's adventure just keeps on getting more and more thrilling, don't you think? I sure do, old buddy. Fancy a trip into the dark, dank, creepy-looking crypt? 
Absolutely not, but if it's going to help us out of this and problem us, I suppose we'd better. After you. As always. Actually, I probably would go explore that. And we're supposed to take this Bible, by the way. It saves us having to backtrack, so I'll go ahead and grab that. Yeah, trust me, after the Bible lesson we just had, it's going to get kind of wrong in a little bit, so... <laughs> We follow the ominous blood trail. And we have a crazy looking priest. How dare you- how did you get down here? Stay back. Gilbert's chained up and I took care of the rest of them. You don't need to destroy his brain? Please don't destroy my Gilbert's brain. Uh, okay, old timer. Whatever you say. I didn't mean to walk all the way over there. I'm kind of getting all up in this guy's business right now. Let's move back over. Here we go. So let's talk to this guy. Actually, it's kind of funny if we try to touch him. I think it's kind of a one of the wrong jokes. I'm not manhandling a priest. It's his job to manhandle me, if anything. Ha ha. Send angry letters to... <laughs> Sorry. I didn't write it. Hello there, priesty. You're here for Gilbert, aren't you? You can't have him. He's my boy. Which is interesting how a priest has a boy, but okay. Who's Gilbert? Gilbert is my son. He was sent home early from school after someone bit him during a cookery class. After only a few hours, he was dead and risen again. I managed to subdue him and chain him up down here. Now I must protect him. Which includes stopping you two from getting through this door by any means necessary. I still want to know why a priest has a son, but whatever, I'm not, I'm not judging. Did you kill all the zombies in the graveyard? I am afraid so. Many of them were good friends of mine, but they had become the devil's instruments. So I read them their last rites and smote them down. Smote? You know, past participle of smite? Smite? Oh, jeez. I just I poked them in the face with a stick until they stopped twitching, okay? Ah, gotcha. Let's do let us through the door, you crazy old Bible basher. Your wrath will not sway me, child. You will not enter Gilbert's room for your safety and his. Oh, go on. No. <clears throat> nice cross. Oh, thank you. It's the only religious trinket I have left now. I left my trusty Bible upstairs. So, well, you better get back to fighting the undead. God be with you, my children. So he talked about his trusty Bible. So now we need to give him his Bible. What can possibly go wrong from this? Hey, Bible basher. Bash this. And he's dead. Brilliant. So we're killing priests now. <clears throat> no, well, maybe bumping off one or two if they absolutely insist on getting in the way. Do what you gotta do, right? And since we talked about how nice the cross is, let's go steal his possession. Don't think of eating this anymore, will you, priesty? Wait, you're bumping off a priest and then stealing from him? Oh, Dan, don't be so puritanical. We're on an adventure. We can pick up whatever the hell we like. It's not stealing. It's adding to my inventory. The two concepts are wildly different, okay? Whatever you say, kill crazy. Well, as you've seen from my Dead Frontier videos, I do like robbing from dead bodies, so there we go. Too bad it's not corpse chips, right? We're still making that a thing, aren't we? Crumbs alive. What the hell is that thing? I guess that's Gilbert, the flesh-munching zombie son of a priest. God, well I for one am not going anywhere near that kid. I don't think the restraining order counts after they've died, buddy. Really? I wish you told me that earlier. Again, I didn't write it. It's just terribly wrong, but so so right in so many ways. So let's try talking to this guy. Hey Gilbert, have you managed to retain the power of cognitive thought? Zombies, not renowned for their chatting skills. Okay, now I know I need to get this doll. Oh my god, look, it's some sort of teeny tiny little person lying on the floor. It's one of Gilbert, uh, Gilbert's action figure toys, clearly. Is it? Oh yes, of course it is. I knew that. Of course you did, Professor. Well, regardless, I can't get to it because of Captain Chompy over there. I can't reach it without getting dangerously close to the zombie kid. Sorry. So now, we need to do something about his chompy smile. So let's get the glue and toss it over to him. Maybe he'll be a little less bitey. 
Here you go, Gilbert. Chomp down on this. There we go. He's relatively safe now. So now we can steal his toy. Stealing from a dead kid. You just keep getting better and better, don't you? So now we'll head back up. Back to the spaceship. Let's go, peas. Alright. We're going to head back up to the spaceship because we're done with this dimension. And I'll end this episode. I'll try to do a dimension an episode if possible. Uh, there's some backtracking, I think, but it's not too bad. So at least you finally got to see the zombie in this episode. Yay! Let's see, where, where do we go? Is it this way? Where do we follow, follow the trail of blood? Oh, we go that way. Okay. So I, I try to tie things in, even if it's terribly loosely. Yeah, here's where we follow the trail of blood, right? Here we go. It confused me. Heading back to the spaceship. Do, 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 do. See? You don't need a soundtrack. You got me. Almost there. And actually, we now have keys to two different doors. Yeah. So that was a very lucrative dimension that we just walked into. So, I'm going to end this episode here. You finally got to see the zombie. I promised. I tried to deliver when I promised things. So, uh, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe, all that. Share it with your friends. I'd love to see this channel grow and all the love I get is all the more appreciated. So if you have any ideas for anything you'd like me to see or play or do, um, I'm also going to be maybe kind of reviewing some zombie and horror related books and movies. So if you have any ideas for books or movies I should check out and I can talk about on future videos, I'm all ears. So please leave a comment, let me know, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks!